Hey everyone, as we move forward into the crypto space, DEX exchanges, otherwise known as decentralized exchanges, are going to be utilized more and more. Now, this is due to better security because you hold the private keys to your wallet and also minimal fees. Now, DDEX is a very well put together and easy to use decentralized exchange. It utilizes the ZeroX protocol, which I'll leave a link for in the description so you can read up about it, and which uses the WEF wrapping system. That's basically a container for allowing you to trade Ethereum with other ERC20 tokens. Now, in this video, I will show you an easy way to access and purchase the Nexo tokens, which I'll be using as an example. And I'll be using the MetaMask wallet on the DDEX exchange. There are two browsers that support MetaMask. Chrome is probably the most used, but I prefer the actual Brave browser as it is more secure. With Chrome, you can just Google MetaMask, go to the Chrome store, then install the extension. The Brave browser has MetaMask already installed and simply needs to be enabled. Creating your first wallet in MetaMask is the same in both Chrome and Brave. I will use Brave in this example. First, we need to navigate to the menu, then to settings. Click on extensions and enable MetaMask with the slider. You can now see MetaMask above in the extension section. To create a wallet, first click accept, then scroll down and accept the terms. Create a password and then confirm password. Copy the 12 word seed and save it in a text file. Also, save the seed words as a file and save both to an offline device. For example, an external hard drive or and a USB stick. I always have two copies just in case. Now, click on I've copied it to somewhere safe. Now that we have a wallet, we can also save the private key from the menu. And this is where we can copy our wallet address. If you have Ethereum on an exchange or on Coinbase, this address is where you will need to send it. You also have the option to buy from Coinbase or Shapeshift by clicking on the Buy tab. Now we have some ETH in our MetaMask wallet, we can now trade on DDEX. The first thing you do is make sure you are logged into MetaMask, otherwise DDEX won't recognize the wallet as you can see up here. It will show you in the upper right corner your MetaMask address. This shows you are now able to trade. The next thing we must do is wrap our Ethereum into the WETH container. I will leave a link in the description explaining what WETH is, but basically it enables you to trade your Ethereum between other ERC20 tokens on the ZeroX protocol. So now click on wrap ETH. Here it shows your ETH balance. You can specify how much ETH you want to wrap and trade with. I will wrap 0.1 ETH. When you click on wrap ETH, it will bring up your MetaMask wallet. Here you can specify how much gas to use for the transaction fee. However, DDEX defaults the best amount automatically 
for a faster transaction time. You can reduce this, but expect the transaction to settle a lot slower. When you are happy with the settings, click Submit. Then click on Enable Buying with WEF and click on Submit again in your MetaMask wallet. You will then be presented with you have successfully wrapped your F to WEF. You will notice on the left hand under Balances you now have F available to trade with. For the purposes of this video, I will buy some Nexo tokens at market price. However, you can set your buy order lower and hope there is a dip in price. So click on market order price. You will notice it auto populates the price here. I will buy 100% of my ETH worth. So I will click 100% here. Now click on buy Nexo. We now need to sign the transaction to complete the purchase. It will take a few seconds to complete the purchase. You can now see our Nexo balance has updated in our MetaMask wallet. If you have any ETH left, you can unwrap it back into your MetaMask wallet. Click on Unwrap, then Unwrap ETH. Your MetaMask wallet will now need you to click on Submit. Unwrapping your ETH may take a minute or so. Once finished, your MetaMask balance will be updated. If you want to confirm everything has updated, navigate to ethscan.io and input your MetaMask address here. Click Go and you'll see your Nexo tokens under Token Balances here. To view your Nexo tokens in MetaMask, let's copy the Nexo contract address by clicking on Nexo under your token balances. Then copy the contract address. Open MetaMask, click on Tokens, then Add Token. Paste the contract address, add the Nexo symbol, and add the decimals, which can be seen under the contract address here. Now click Add. Now your Nexo tokens are visible. You can use the Add Token option of MetaMask for any tokens you purchase. All token contract addresses can be found on ethscan.io. Now using the Ledger Nano S is exactly the same principle. The only difference is you must confirm the transaction on the actual Nano as opposed to click clicking the submit button in the MetaMask wallet. Okay, so I hope this video has helped and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that bell button if you want to uh, be notified of any new video tutorials I release. Take care everyone.